Question. What's the connection between giant latex hangings, a house in Camberwell, and rusted metal sheets? Yeah, what? Well, Sorry? What's the connection? What's the connection? I don't know. Welcome to the Art Fix. As you can see from the thinning branches behind me, we're heading into December, which means it's getting cold, it's getting dark, everyone's moaning the barbecue season's over. So in this episode, we're gonna be focusing more on the boutique, independent, cozy art experience, starting with an exhibition in someone's house in Camberwell. I had a tip off that Lily Brooke had taken the genius step of opening a gallery in her front room to avoid spiraling startup costs. So Calvin and I headed down there to investigate. We were immediately captivated, inspired, and intrigued. Weighed Down by Stones by Eva Yokova is an interactive installation, a mysterious and poetic examination of the personal associations we form with objects. Participants are given headphones and encouraged to trigger sensors around the room. Detuned rhythmic chords give way to fleeting snippets of spoken word and texture. We found the whole experience enjoyable and thought-provoking, and you will too. Respect to Lily Brooke and the artist for their innovation and courage. The show is open till 13th of January. Make that appointment right now. Back up north near Old Street. Ghostly impressions of the passage of time hang heavily in the air. These are latex skins from buildings and objects. Psychiatric institutions, a butcher shop, a dragonfly. This is Heidi Bucher's survey show at Parasol Unit. Her work succeeds in being fragile yet robust, sincere, sensitive and elegant. As an artist myself, I've tried working with latex. It's a pain in the ass. You need superhuman patience and dedication. Heidi Bucher's show is one of my favourites of 2018, and I've been a fan of Parasol Unit for years. As well as a banging arts programme, they've got a tranquil garden in the middle of London's noise. The perfect place for stillness, rest, and the all-important gallery crawl chocolate break. Bucher's show at the Parasol Unit ends shortly. Don't sleep. Sid Motion opened up her own gallery next to a kebab shop in King's Cross a couple of years ago. She cut her teeth on the Mayfair scene and her experience shows. The current exhibition pairs Yin Yi Fung and Ricky Turner, two very clever process-led artists exploring materials, decay and time. Turner paints on metal and linen canvases. Her sensitive gestures mimic rust, leaving us to get lost in their looseness and space. Fung's two evolving sculptures have been slowly self-destructing over the last month. She stepped aside and let nature take its course. It's both precise and unpredictable, and I loved it. People often struggle with the interpretation of abstract art because it leaves so much to the imagination, but that's precisely the point. Like the last show at Parasol Unit, these artists are inviting us to meditate on temporality and transience of life, to sit, meditate and reflect. I'm always happy when I come across galleries like this, the smaller, the interesting, the quirky, the varied, they're intelligent, they're a breath of fresh air. Cities like London can be hard to live in sometimes, they're noisy, they're expensive. Experiences like this remind us that there's more to life. Holding one's breath at Sid Motion ends on the 7th of December. Well that concludes today's episode of The Art Fix. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. As we hurtle towards the excesses of the Christmas season, make sure you wrap up warm, chew your food properly and eat plenty of cake. I'll see you soon for more adventures in art. Until then, may the force be with you. All right, one more time. This is his fault. It sounded like you were rushing that last one. Alright, well, you'd be fucking rushing in the freezing cold. <laughs> I know. <laughs> My nuts are up here. <laughs> right, let me try again. As we hurtle to walk.
Thank you. Right. Should we try to take five billion? Yeah. Oh, right. Which 